take all of our jobs. But if we do it right and we do it respectfully, I think with uh, the people that are paying us all of this, it's a lot of fucking money. Um, yeah, if you get fired, there's no such thing as job security in this, what we're doing. Just kind of do it gracefully. I always say that in my next life, I'm going to open like a school for housewives. And I'm going to tell you what to do like your first year. And this is said with no ego, what to do your fourth year. And when you like, you're going to get fired, you should just accept that day one. But right. everyone is so shocked when it happens to them. It's like, you're, you're not special. It happened to, it happened to Vicky. It happened to Dorinda. It happens to like the, it happened to you. It happens to like people that make great TV. It just is the job. And I think that the more, that the longer people are on, the more money they make. And people are realizing if we can get someone for almost no money and we can stop paying this person millions, let's cut the budget. You know what I mean? However, I do, I do, like I said, I don't love when they bring on new people all the time, but every once in a while, I think it's important to get rid of the Vickies or the Lisa Vanderpumps. It's like someone who's like owned the show forever. What about on um, Beverly Hills? How are you feeling about Beverly Hills this season? Um, oh gosh, it does seem like two teams. You know what I mean? It seems like Sutton and Garcelle and they're gonna ride hard for each other and everyone else. And then Kyle's kind of in the middle making sure that there's a story and she's getting a lot of fucking hate for it, but she's doing her job. And Kyle and I are good. We're like, we text all the time and she hates the hate, but like, if she wasn't saying to Sutton, you kind of did this, or you kind of, those conversations wouldn't happen and we wouldn't have a show. So I feel like she's driving the ship in a way because they got rid of Chris Cullen who we used to do it. And, you know, with new producers, it's really difficult. I say this all the time as well. See, we're so aligned. I mean, like, people don't realize, but if you really step back, to me, Kyle is driving this whole bus. And I don't mean that negatively. It's, it's just like... We need her to do that to make the show. I mean, she's, you know, the OG. I feel like she holds down the show. And when something's not happening, she feels responsible because she wants to give a good show. So she'll say, you know she'll get in trouble or, you know, to make sure these conversations between people are happening. She's gotten so much hate. She's like, she's literally, she can't handle that very well, but she, I know what she's doing because I watch it with a different perspective. Me I'm like, she's getting the, the conversation started and then she's letting them, you know, do what they have to do. Um, so I say, thank God for Kyle this season. Does Kyle, since you're, since you're so used to it, and I don't mean that in a bad way, so Kyle reaches out to you and says, Brandy, how do I handle this hate? You're used to it. No, I mean, we talk a lot about different, like not necessarily always the show, but we do talk about the show. Like when I'll watch it, I'll be like, oh my God, you know, I'll text her and she'll be like, oh my God, I didn't even know that was happening. Um, she's like, you don't understand. I'm like, you know, like it's, you know, we talked about doctors and different things. It's not always, about, it's actually usually not about Beverly Hills, but I, we did have a conversation. When I say conversation, it's all text. I don't talk to anyone. I text with everyone, even my children. Um, and she's like, I just, she's like, I'm finally, I'm in Paris. Like, I can't look at social media. It's, it really breaks my heart. I, like I'm getting more hate than I've ever got. And like, yeah, girl, but guess what? You made the show for all of us to watch. And she's still having a hard time of it. Well, yeah. I mean, she is very down to earth and very normal. And she is very anxious like myself. And she she doesn't like that. Like, who, do, who likes the hate? No one likes the hate. But I think this is the first time that she's really, maybe the second that she's really been targeted. And I think it's kind of fucked up, actually. I do think without her, like, you know, a lot of the people there should look at her and say, thank you, you know, like on the show that you're giving me a job and keeping me because she is moving the story along, whether you like what she's doing or not. Right. Because if she's not saying it, if she's not going to say her friend Sutton was insincere, how are we all going to know that happened? And the, con like, she's, she's just, I think we needed her, you know, we just, we need her. Um, just like, we need a Tamara. We need someone to hold down that's familiar, that knows what they're doing. Heather is not doing it for me on OC because she hasn't been there in so long. And Shannon, ah, 
I feel like she's a character of herself. And I mean, I love Heather, but Heather's not going to stick her hand in the fire like Tamara is. Tamara will, Tamara's a brandy. They, she will stick her hand in that fire if, to make a good show and she knows how to do it. Yeah. And, and she won't do it if she feels like it's just wrong. I mean, she's not, like Kyle's not doing anything that, she's doing what she feels is right, but she's sharing it. So, I mean, she's not going to just, I always say, don't drop a bomb and lead. I say that to my kids all the time. That's good advice. Where do you fall on the like, right, like Sutton and Crystal are kind of, I mean, Sutton and Garcelle are kind of on one side and then, you know, Erica, Dorit, Rinna and Kyle, it's kind of like the Fox Force Four or over here. Do you have a team that you're on between those two? You know, I wish I could say I, I was, I, like, I think Garcelle always makes sense. Like, I just don't, I think Sutton's drinking her own fucking Kool-Aid this season. Like she's coming off, I know she's got a lot of shooters apparently, but she's coming off to me like, a little bit mean and self-absorbed. And Garcelle is like making the most sense, but I wouldn't be sticking up for Sutton all the time like she does. Um, I think Rena is just in mourning. It makes me sad. Like she's off the charts right now, but like her mother was like one of her best friends. And then to continue to have to go and shoot and act like everything's fine, I couldn't do it. So I kind of, and I like Rena. I understand where her outbursts are coming from. I do. And I don't think it's necessarily all about Sutton being an asshole and watch what happens live. I think she has a lot on her fucking plate. And you do, because like people criticize her of like, you know, you're using grief as an excuse. How do you, if I lost my mother, I don't know if I would ever be over it. It's not, I mean, it's a real fucking thing. We all watched Lois for years on the show. She was a part of it. Like, I, I am sad for Lois being gone. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think people are so quick to judge on this show. Like, you just can't listen to fucking haters. And I love that Erica's wasted. Love it. I would have been wasted three seasons ago if I was her. Um, and I'm on Lexapro in the morning, 10 milligram. I drink wine. I'm good. I take Xanax when I need it. It doesn't, it's, the whole thing with Erica having a problem, that annoyed the fuck out of me because I dealt with that the entire time I was on TV. And I'm like, I have a fucking solution, not a problem. <laughs> it's seriously. And I mean, I say the same thing. You know, I think there are housewives, possibly one I could think of, but I, we don't need to mention any names that might have a problem. But Erica does not have a drinking problem, people. No. She, her life is spiraling out of control. She lost everything that she thought she had. She's becoming a different version of who she, she's finding out who she is. Before it was, you know, Erica Jane and Tom's wife. And now we're getting to know Erica, like the real Erica. And, you know, she's in mourning. And whether you agree with her or not, doesn't mean that her life isn't fucking completely spiraling out. Are you close? Like, where are you in the real world with like her, or, like Rena? I mean, I know you you and Kyle are good. No, I'm good with both of them. I text with Rena often, you know, I like her a lot. Like she's... She's always kind to me. Like if I have, like, she's, I'm like, oh, I did a song. And she's like, I'm going to, she posted about it. She did a video about it. I mean, they're real girls, girls. Cause Kyle did the same thing for me. And I was like, you know, that's a real friend because they have like millions of followers. And, you know, there's some that I'm not going to name names, but a lot of the housewives I asked that did not do it. And I always support all of their businesses. Like I'm that person. So, I mean, I love Rena. It is what it is. Um, I'm so thankful for her. Like I've asked her for a couple of favors in the past. Boom, all good, here you go. Who is one housewife that wouldn't pose for you? Um, well, I did ask Erica <laughs> and I do 